What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Don So Real, and I'm back with another video. So apparently, So Illuminati has returned, bro. I wouldn't say return to take his throne or anything like that because end of the day, I mean, I rock with both of them. But when DDG be saying that he ended his career, I don't believe that at all. Like, bro, the fam can come back and still do it. Like, I don't even know, bro. He definitely, DDG definitely didn't end his career. That's facts. Let's get into the video. Doodoo garbage. Your time has come. DDG, your name, your new name is Doodoo Garbage. Make sure for this point forward, y'all put two doodoo -doo emojis and a garbage sign next to DDG name. Your new name is Doodoo Garbage. Your time has come. <laughs> There's no way out of this one. Your time has come. First thing first. I've been gone for quite some time. Y'all know why. I don't even have to explain. I want to talk to you like I'm FaceTiming you. I'm about to break this man down. Literally. I'm about to break him down. Very simple. You would never look at DDG the same after this. I promise you. This would not be like any other vid that I dropped on him. <laughs> this one is deep. Man, I'll be so sick. But first thing first, let me show you. Wow. This is why I'm dropping this video on DDG. These niggas be baloney. <laughs> Got they bitches on me. I just hit Illuminati hoe and then he fell off. T-shirt, okay. Way too petty. Way too petty. Way too petty. So, as y'all can see, while I... See, it's like I told y'all, man. I, like, I agree with Jidion. It ain't even like... It ain't even... It wouldn't even be me riding, bro. Like, I just feel like... Fam, fam ain't... He ain't... He didn't end so Illuminati career, bro. Like, I feel like a person saying that they really don't really know what's going on. I feel like so just understood he had some something more with himself. Spiritual, you trying to find yourself, bro. Like when he left on that type of when he left on that, that wasn't that wasn't like he left because of the fact that DDG made him leave, bro. He left for something dealing with himself. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like so Illuminati can come back and just do numbers, bro, like how did he, how I look at DDG like an ar architect within YouTube? I feel like so Illuminati the same so Illuminati the same way. You feel what I'm saying? It just go both ways, but DDG did not end his career, bro. I've been gone. Everybody know my brother passed away last year. And it it it, it to this day still it's still something that me and my family is dealing with. And I needed to be away from YouTube and I needed to be away from everything in order to really find myself again. It's crazy that this little nigga trying to feed off my pain. You see how this look? You see this? He trying to feed off my pain. Why would you try to feed off my pain and you went through the same thing? My brother didn't deserve this at all. Um, my brother was a loving person. He never hurt anybody. No. Hey. So Illuminati coming with this one, bro. Nah, he coming with this one. But this is the main reason why I say, bro. DDG did not end his career, bro. But I don't think DDG be looking at it from that from that perspective. He I don't think he really DDG probably really believed that he really ended his career the whole time. Like you gotta realize, like man, he coming with it, bro. He he really liked this, bro. So I really liked it. You know the pain, bro. You know this shit is nothing to play. And the good and the good thing about it is. He really real, bro. Like, he not lying, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that's why his content so, like, that's why he can leave and just come back at any time, bro. Because he 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 always being real, bro. All the time. Fam always being real and genuine in his content. So, he can leave for a while and come back and still be doing the same amount of numbers or even more. You know what I'm saying? And then when he, or like, whenever he leave... It's like the fans appreciate it more. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like he come back at the right times. Play with. You know this. My nigga, sup. You know this. And I'm I'm only showing y'all clips. I'm pretty sure y'all can make whole compilations since I've been gone of these motherfuckers talking about me. Sp especially him. Yeah. Right? But listen, I'm only showing y'all clips. I have no idea 
what the fuck DDG been doing with his whole career? Doodle -doo juice, doodle -doo garbage. I have no idea what he been doing since I've been gone. But one clip I want to show y'all that sparked it all. Not even what he said about me. This is what sparked it all. Selling your soul is not a real transaction, bro. It's not even a thing. Like, I used to think that too when I was like younger and shit. See this girl right here? This not his girl. He borrowing her, my nigga. Now listen, Damn. I hate that she has to catch this straight, but that's tough. That's tough. She got to catch this straight. Her motherfucking... Bro, listen. So first thing first, the highlight of doodoo -doo garbage career right now, because I told you, remember back in the day, remember when I told you, you would never be looked at as a rapper. Remember I told you no matter how many songs you drop, what is the, what is doodoo -doo garbage top five greatest hits? Nobody knows. No matter what, no matter how much music you drop, no matter how many scripted vids, collabs you. All right, I'm gonna hop in on. I'm gonna hop in on this part right here. I'm gonna say, like, I'm gonna be honest. See, for me, whenever I started watching DDG, it wasn't really about the music for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? It was more about like all of a one ass vlogs. He would funny vlogs. He would be dropping and stuff like that. But I feel like the time you become a fan of him, right, really shows. Like, I became like a supporter, you know, fan of DDG and stuff like that. Watching his content, and everything. It was more so um when he was shooting funny vlogs and he was in relationships and all this other stuff but at the same time you got people like after i watch his uh 48 hours in paris vlog you got people in paris that's overseas who not within the states and when they first become fans of him they first become fans of him knowing him for his music and not his vlogs you feel what i'm saying so yeah bro guess it's just you know you do no matter what you do you will always be looked at as doodle -doo garbage who posts fake scripted vlogs. You're a YouTuber at heart. I see you've been pushing this TikTok song. Now you trying to become Coolie Ray? You want to be in the TikTok shit now? DDG don't know what he want to do with his music career. He don't have a sound. He sound like everybody but himself. He have, bro, listen. This is his bitch, right? <laughs> right? It only take two seconds for you to search up Disney Expose. She's a melanated goddess, too. They love the melanated goddesses in Disney. All you got to do is pull up TikTok. Search TikTok, Disney Exposed. See what happened. How many celebrities from Disney has came out? Nah. On what the fuck? He ain't lying, though. Uh, what's her girl name, bro? He is not lying. That's facts, though. Um, Because it's like everybody always have a problem within a Disney within Disney Channel, like, you know what I'm saying, um, I don't know if Raven, I don't know if Raven had a problem, but I'm pretty sure she probably did, you know what I'm saying, I mean, look at goddamn Orlando Brown, not saying, like, you know, when they, them folks, I know them folks seen some stuff, um, also, um, her name China, bro, I think that's her name, y'all let me know if I'm right, her name is China, bro, she the one, like, bro, she was, like, in deep tears and stuff like that, bro, I'm talking about, I think she did, like, a whole 360, just, like she bro it came at one point like she was exposing the truth and bro like she like fully on like a whole three six like she a whole different person bro like because you gotta think like she was a there was an ant form she was in i think it was ant form she was in you gotta think like she was top tier on there bro like you know what i'm saying and then all of a sudden i guess that she got older i guess she started seeing real like seeing things bro and like it's just some things people not gonna accept bro you feel what i'm saying people ain't trying to be no no puppy we ain't niggas ain't, a lot of, bro real people ain't gonna sit there and be no plant bro you feel me if some shit going on bro shit nigga nigga about to get out of there bro it ain't about no money bro you can't let these folks treat you like that and then you gotta go and then you gotta go up, go up in life as the person who was just a puppet for the whole time. You know what I'm saying? But not saying, not saying that Hallie is a puppet. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? It's and what's going on now in Disney? Let me see. Oh, I forgot about Zendaya. Damn. And think about that, bro. I just reacted to Zendaya, the uh, goddamn Challenges movie and stuff like that. She doing really well. You know what I'm saying? Look more, more than ten plus Disney stars, including Zendaya, spoke out about Disney. And the weirdo shit they be doing. How many people got? We gonna have to look at that's gonna that's another video, y'all. Y'all, hey, remind me, bro. That's another video, exposing Disney. I tell y'all the hidden symbols in all these Disney movies, in all these Disney cartoons. Bruh, hey, 
Bro, I kid you not. The fact he's saying this right now, bro. Bro, they got a clip somewhere. Y'all got to go find it. I wish I can show y'all. Y'all got to go find it, though. Whenever I ain't never seen a Little Mermaid movie, but somebody showed the clip of the Little Mermaid movie, bro. And, like, Al playing whenever they, like, it's, it's first coming on and stuff like that. Like, the now playing whenever it's first coming on. Dude, the formation of the letters, bro. Like, as it was, like, doing all the crazy effects and stuff like that, I swear the letters, like, lined up as nigga, bro, in plain sight, like, for probably about, like, 0 0.5 seconds, bro. Like, it said nigga. You feel what I'm saying? And then it was just, like, then it, like, just went to now playing and shit, but, like, the letter formation, like, lined up with nigga, bro. I swear to God. All you got to do is look it up. But one of the number one things I did notice it was literally earlier this year. It was a Disney star who's black, a melanated goddess. Oh, black. I told y'all, man. I told you, bro. And everything that she do, bro, on goddamn um TikTok, bro. Whenever she first like, when I feel like when when I first when TikTok had like people was really starting to spot, bro. She was the main one, bro. I'm talking about the main one, bro. She always talk about like. She she give she give more advice on like the spiritual side and just you being yourself and you staying woke and you understanding things, bro. She really she the main one, bro. On God and she was a top tier star, bro. If she say for example, you would see her more, bro. If she wouldn't if she wouldn't have understood what was going on, bro. And like if she remained a puppet, bro, she probably would be the the part the top is one of the top persons on goddamn Disney right now, bro. That's facts. Who came out exposing everything? I think Pax, her name look, done seen it, bro. It was China. I'm gonna pull up the picture for y'all so y'all can see it. But so why would any woman want to be in that position, dude? DDG, doodle -doo garbage, my nigga. That's not your girl. You borrowing her. Why you won't tell everybody what happened in those? She belongs to the industry. She's a toy. Private lodges. What do your girl go on? What happens behind the scenes? With these pedophilia ass old ass men with glasses who like kids. I'm connecting. You see, truth in plain sight. We in a matrix. This is a Disney cartoon about Epstein Island. This shit demonic. Anything connected to this type shit must go. Hopefully, Mrs. Mermaid okay. Her sister already broken in. Damn. I never seen Epstein Island, bro. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Y'all ever seen Epstein Island? Is it, how how demonic is it? Like, what what type of subliminals they be putting in here? Stupid little boys, stupid little boys, and I take them to Pleasure Island. There's no mystery. They never come back. They come for the kids. It's all type of hidden symbols, hidden messages, and Little Mermaid as well. But check this out, bro. Also, bro, Disney ain't the same no more. And it got to the point to where you got to realize, like, I don't know how it is for the generation now, bro. But think about it, bro. Like, how Disney was for us and, like, all the of, all of top-tier stars that we came up on. See, I'm born in 98. So, if you was born in 98, then you know about that. So, Raven, you know about, like, uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say as far as black, that's so Raven and Form, um, cause Black China and Form, um, what else? You got uh, what else we came up on, bro? Corey in the house. It's like, bro, it's like all of these goddamn, all of the ones we came up on watching. It's like they all fell off, like not in the worst way, but they fell off, like as in like, damn, like the people we came up on. It's like Disney ain't helped them after they had left. It's like, man, Disney just kicked them to the curb type stuff. Either they, either you, either they got kicked to the curb, bro, messing with Disney, bro, or they understood what was going on and they just stopped messing with Disney, got out their deal, and then been, became one of the ones who exposed Disney about the things that they do. But, DDG, since you want to send messages to the kids, doo-doo garbage, I just got to use your bitch, for example. That's all. She got to catch this stray. That's tough. She should have wore a vest. I got to leave her on one HP. But, dude, I just want to paint a picture. I even dropped a video on Patreon how they use different... Bro, listen, these is like wizards and warlocks, bro. These motherfuckers in Hollywood. It's a reason why DDG is addicted to Cali. Come on to the whole thing. Selling your soul. Just, it's just not some rapping shit or some movie shit. You got to understand, bro, majority of these people in the industry, etc., they getting they they doing it by 
what they drinking and taking in drugs and also having sex with industry never have sex with industry women they pass spirits on bro emo and astro i ain't gonna i ain't gonna say too much astro off spirits and shit bro they pass off spirits the minute they have sex with start to become very zesty this is why a lot of your favorite rappers is completely changing and polishing their nails it's the spirits that was passed in them your body is a portal your body is a ship so every time you doing drugs every time you're doing crazy stuff Thought forms is created, bro. Thought forms will have you depressed, suicidal. Thought forms come from energies, entities. Yeah. This shit is deep. This bot ass nigga right here, DDG, that D doodle garbage that y'all watching. DDG know. DDG know he a part of it now. We know how vulnerable industry rappers, artists are. They dying on the regular and can't speak on shit in 2023. They have no voice. Gonna have all these little kids lost and led astray. He's a fucking plant. This is the last thing I'm gonna say about doo-doo garbage. Because I gotta hit the gym and I gotta keep my daily uploads going. Y'all know I post every single day now. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying to keep that shit going. Keep that shit up. Hey, I'm trying to the keep that shit up I'm too. Say about Feel me? Garbage. It's a lot of fans. It's a lot of new subscribers. And I've been gone. I feel like I've been gone for the past two years. I haven't been consistent on YouTube in general in like the past couple years. A lot of y'all have no clue and i want y'all to ask doodoo garbage how many youtube channels man whole time bro i'm listening to him say doodoo garbage i, I just realized he ddg bro that shit crazy have he created since 2015 mm -hmm. youtube channels have he created since 2015 doodoo garbage said i fell off right see which he didn't I'm going to be the one because I'm a fan. I, 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 I watch DDG content, came up on him when he was in college and all this stuff. I'm, and I started watching So Illuminati content in the beginning too as well. One thing I'm going to say is DDG did not end his career, bro. Fam can still come back and do numbers. Fam left on some finding himself type stuff, understood that. I mean, it comes times where even – People be YouTubers, but man, it's stuff that's bigger than this. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with ourselves. It's stuff that becomes bigger than this, bro. You know what I'm saying? This ain't you know what I'm saying? This is just this some this is some this is some fun stuff that to do, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's just so happened that it's some fun stuff to do and you can get paid from doing it. You be consistent in it and stuff like that. This is just a life changing tool, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So if somebody you know what I'm saying? If somebody leave on on the type time and as far as going to find themselves, like for example with DDG and Solomonati, he wasn't on no goddamn. Yeah, they yeah he probably was saying some little things, bro. But I feel like the things he was saying wasn't, you know, career ending. You know what I'm saying? Type shots, bro. You feel what I'm saying? It just so happened that. What I guess within the beef, you know what I'm saying? As the shots were being sent, like. Told him not it was just going through some stuff, bro. So he exited, made it, made it probably seem from DDG perspective that he ended his career because, you know, they it was no more back and forth. Like he was like the last man standing, last word. You know, like he, you know, what I'm saying shit like that. A lot of y'all don't notice DDG. Every time he fall off, he make a new channel, and I think he gave. He make a new channel and tell all his subscribers to go there, then gives away. His dead channel. He been doing this for the for the past ten years. All the millions of subscribers on each channel is the same people. Like I can't even take. I think his brother got one of his fell off channels. He gives the channels he fell off away. Matter of fact, what happened to your DDG family channel? Did you turn that into a plug channel? I bet that fell off as well. See, you talking about falling off when you've been trying to keep your career going. You've been my nigga. You your health bar been blinking. For the past 10 years, bruh. That's why me personally, bro, I do this shit because I love doing it. Like, it ain't no, ain't ain't about to be no beef, no anything, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing this shit because I love it. So, I know I'm going to make it far because the energy is so genu genuine and real, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I do this shit because I love it. You feel what I'm saying? I want to be a big YouTuber and stuff like that. So, you know. That's just what it is, bro. I ain't doing this. You know what I'm saying? 
Oh, that's how. That's how I know I'm gonna make it. For that's how I know, like because I foresee nothing but success when it come to this, bro. I see nothing but success when it, like, just come with my YouTube, bro. I just see nothing but life changing things happening, bro. That's it. YouTube, DDG, you literally you can't create content alone. People watch you for the shit that you bring. You are not funny. You can't. You're not. Bro. I guarantee you DDG cannot be entertaining without talking about his jewelry, cars, and clothes. He cannot be. DDG put his chain on. Just take out the garbage. No, just to take the garbage out. He don't feel accepted without material things. Entertaining if other people is not in his vids. He's going to create fake vids with his little family. He's been doing this shit for the past five years. Fake scripted vids with his sister and boyfriend. Fake scripted vids with celebrities. How many rappers watching this right now? And DDG scripted and directed your whole fake video. <laughs> whenever you see DDG on streams, whenever you see, wherever you see dude. Y'all think DDG still be scripted? Who garbage had is fake, is scripted. Everything about him is fake. So you got to ask yourself. How do he create content? He leech off people that's popping. He will, I don't know how it's possible, but every time it's a new popping streamer or a new popping YouTuber, DDG's doo doo garbage spawn out of nowhere. I don't know how. What I'm trying to tell you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm, I'm gonna say for me, bro, whenever it comes to making content and stuff like that, I understand how people like make fake content just to, you know, obviously it's entertainment. That's what that's that's what everybody that's what everybody answer be at the end. He'd be like, Man, it's just it's it's entertainment. So you know what I'm saying? Like, of course people gonna fake something. But I feel like a video probably will never get posted if I'm faking it, bro. A video will never get posted, bro. Because I can't I can't I, I don't want to fake anything, bro. Like, if something really funny, then I'm going to laugh on camera. If something not funny, then I'm not going to laugh on camera. You feel what I'm saying? If something if something make me happy and I'm, then I, that I'm react to, I'm looking at something, I'm going to give a reason why. Like, dang, that shit crazy, man. That's pretty cool. But if something, if something you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's negative, I'm going to say something. If it's positive, I'm going to respect it. You feel me? Nothing going to be fake, bro y'all is this you talking about i fell off because i've been gone mourning what happened to my brother going through shit with my family so i've been gone because i'm inactive so you say i fell off tell the world how many channels you had since 2015 and the channel that you using right now your channel that you probably getting views on pay attention to that it's only because of the people that's in it not him if he posts vids by itself you're not gonna watch it if he doing mukbangs or something, it has to be something else other than him. He has very low self-esteem. This is why he has to buy jewelry for you to fuck with him. But the older you get, the more you're going to see him for what he is. Man, he be buying all this random bum ass shit that nobody even know what it is. He got to fit in. That's how he fit in. He's not accepted for who he are. He can't go out in nature and just be himself. He can't drop a video like this and just be himself. You get what I'm saying? His girlfriend ain't even his. His whole life, he's a broke, dead, spiritual ass nigga, y'all. He's dead spiritually. He don't know nothing. He just want to fit in. As long as he can be around rappers, DDG is perfectly, doodoo -doo garbage is perfectly fine. Don't call him DDG. His name is doodoo -doo garbage. Simple. Now listen, like I told you, <laughs> Hey man, he said a lot, bro, and I'ma just tell y'all right now. Do you think that somebody talking like this toward a person that was saying his career, he ended his career? Do you think this man's career really ended? When somebody really coming from like a genuine place, like you can obviously tell, like, fam ain't trying to do nothing extra on this mug. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, he just strictly coming on this mug talking, bro. Literally just talking, bro. End of the day, Solomonati could not get ended by DDG because Solomonati can just post how he want to post. He can leave, come back. Obviously, he say he left for a reason. He was wanting his brother. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is, bro. End of the day, I don't believe that. Because 
Real is real, bro. I ain't gonna be on the bandwagon. I ain't gonna be on the bandwagon saying, "Goddamn, DDG ended his career" because I don't believe it at all, bro. And I rock, and I rock with them both, bro. You feel what I'm saying? But people were saying Gideon was riding type shit because of the fact that I don't even believe Gideon was being. He was saying some real points, bro. I feel like when you, but when you were. When you ain't biased, you can see both sides, bro. Come on now, bro. Like, I ain't no hate toward DDG, but at the same time, he ain't, he didn't end so Illuminati career, bro. I haven't seen none of his content. I know from clips that he been speaking on me, but I guarantee you everything I'm saying is facts. If you go and look at DDG most popping channel, all of the videos evolve, it involves other people, not him. That's the only way he can keep shit going. And I promise you, that channel's gonna die too. He's gonna sell that channel, probably give it to a family member. Man, he can—he didn't gave away a lot of channels. Y'all have no clue. DDG fell off ten times. <laughs> this is why he want to be labeled as a rapper so bad, praying he make it. <laughs> he can't even. <laughs> Man, I ain't playing with this dude, bro. Find him. He's so spiritually dead. He can't even. He dead ass, bro. Look at him. He just shit. This is why he wants to be labeled as a rapper so bad, praying he make it. <laughs> he can't even find it. He's so spiritually dead, he can't even find his sound with music. Who do DDG sound like? Everybody. You don't be like, oh, he's, you don't never hear somebody and be like, oh, that dude sound like DDG. No. Doodoo garbage sound like everybody. My nigga, you from Michigan, Detroit? Don't fuck with you. You must have been from the Burbs. That's tough. <laughs> but anyway... I have no problem with DD doo doo garbage. I just don't understand why would you try to like do that to me while I'm going through some of the toughest times. I don't even speak on you. I always find myself responding to you. Facts, man. Facts. Facts, bro. But listen. I feel like I ain't gonna lie, man. Me personally, I feel like in a way DDG probably DDG started it, bro. Man, don't say you ended somebody's career, bro. I ain't saying that shit. That's facts. I don't give a damn. Like, that's just negativity. I ain't trying to even put out there in the world for real. Like, I mean, that's just me, bro. Like, but hey, these folks, this entertainment, bro. Like, end of the day, man, it's with these, this was this, this, this shit that go down, bro. This is enough. That's all I got to say. You can't name five DDG songs. It's not possible. You can't. What is five of DDG's greatest hits? You can't name it. I'm on a whole nother level on Geeky. Now you making music. I told you you make music for niggas who wear open toe sandals with no socks. Remember I told you that? Now you just saying, I'm geeky. Like, bro, that's a tick. Bro, TikTok is serious. TikTok can have you thinking your song really popping. It happened to me with my Are We Living in a Dream? <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember that shit, bro. Remember? Will Smith even did a TikTok to my song, bro. After those five seconds, niggas is not listening to your song, doo doo garbage. I'm gonna be honest, TikTok, goddamn motherfucking, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Attention span, crazy, bro. TikTok is one app that's never in my phone, bro. I kid you not. When it comes to that space, TikTok, TikTok ain't in my phone. TikTok ain't in my phone right now, bro. I don't remember the last time I sat there and just scrolled on TikTok, bro. It's just something about TikTok I just can't get with, bro. Like. I don't know. I don't really like TikTok like that. You feel me? TikTok and Snapchat be the two apps that never be on my phone, bro. Say goodbye, my nigga. I even show you on Spotify. Nigga, I got heli streams. They ran my shit up on TikTok. Y'all know I did my whole album at home from my Yeti mic. <laughs> I remember that shit, bro. That shit was so funny. <laughs> no edits. And still got millions of streams. Just to show y'all, you don't have to do none of that weird shit these industry niggas be doing. Do it yourself. I was about to say, man, you could be yourself making this music shit. Just do it yourself, bro. Because I'm gonna be honest. With you. For example, when it comes to music, bro, I wouldn't want nobody telling me what to drop or judging. Like, say for example, I make about buku songs and I got that shit set for an album, and now people gotta judge on which one go on the album. But these songs are really. I really put my all into type stuff, so but they gonna knock the mugs aside. Just off, just off dead. I wouldn't want to, bro. Do it anyway, on my man. Own. Take care of yourself, man. And I'm out, bro. 
that's gonna cap it off for the video man how y'all feel about this video ddg must be stopped you feel what i'm saying end of the day ddg did not end so illuminati real it ain't go like that you feel what i'm saying y'all know so illuminati gonna come back with the receipts he gonna come back with the realness you feel what i'm saying in the in the energy man it's good to see so illuminati back bro you feel me but it's your boy dante so real man until next time peace